what I'm showing here, this is just a real basic way you could make a, a three-phase rotary phase converter. Um, just using some, you know, off-the-shelf or surplus parts, and just uh, all you need is an induction motor that'll handle your load, a few capacitors, and uh, a normally closed contactor. Uh, what I've got is I've got a bank of uh, start capacitors here. They're uh, uh, they're parallel. They they have um, they're about 30 microfarads a piece add up to whatever about 90 or so but it's not real critical on that they're going into uh, this uh, this contactor we've got those going into one side of the contactor and then coming out of the other side of the contactor or, or, or relay uh, one goes to our chase leg or a phantom leg coming from the motor that's a generated leg and the other side just goes to one of the good legs which is like a 120 to ground or you know, of course 240 uh, phase to phase or leg to leg um, and then to run run that contactor to make it drop out at speed, I go from the uh, from our phantom leg or our chase leg um, from this to our and that's 110 to ground uh, coil. So it goes into the one side of the coil. Of course, comes out to our ground. Um, then we have our uh, run capacitors. I just used what basically the same uh, size uh, capacitors as what I had laying around. So they, they might be a little big, but they're roughly 30 or 35 microfarads a piece. I don't remember. But anyway, those just, uh, they're just each run uh, come down. Uh, one will go to from the phantom leg to one of our uh, good phases coming in, one of our good legs coming in. And the other one will go from the phantom leg to the other uh, good leg coming in. And... That is pretty well it. I mean, it, it, inside this motor, there's a, instructions to to cut it over, and make sure it's connected uh, 240. And this is a, uh, I think this was yeah, 240 or 480 or something like that, maybe a 28 240 or something. But anyway, just make sure that that's connected inside, right? And all these are A, B, C, or one, two, three coming in there, and that's those are your three legs. You got two two legs coming in hot into the motor, and then you have a third leg that's generated coming back out. And I'm feeding this just with basic 240 uh, power. I just have a little cart here I use for welders and things uh, to, to run that. And I know I've got a, a uh, disconnect right there, but it's bypass because I blew a fuse. So, But uh, there's some welders. That's what I've kind of been using to tinker around with. So <clears throat> I just have it running off a 40 amp breaker. We'll, uh, we'll fire the breaker up, and you'll see, it'll come to life, and you won't even really notice that uh, contactor dropping out. It happens pretty quick. So, <coughs> fires it right up. Um, check voltage between our phases. We've got between our uh, C and B or phantom leg and uh, one of the good ones we got 235. We're going to see 240 and B to C 242 and that's basically it it's just a real simple um, you know I've got got a free motor and free capacitors I think I paid 50 bucks for the contactor and just everything else is just laying in the garage so pretty cheap way of uh, generating your own three-phase power hope someone can use this and uh, make your own thanks